This video contains some mild to severe spoilers for The Force Awakens. You've probably seen Star Wars The Force Awakens if you're watching this video. If you haven't, there's still time. The title isn't a spoiler. Finn does not kill Luke Skywalker in this movie. He does it in the next one. Or the third one. What I need to say is, this movie was seemingly made by clever people. Because it's actually good. My god, there's parts without dialogue in it that are great. There's parts with dialogue that are superb. And sure, it may backtrack a bit in the sense that there's another Death Star, there's another trench through which X-Wings fly, another robot with a secret, another... It's basically the same movie, but shifted somewhat. And with a lot less C-3PO, and thank God there's less C-3PO in it. That robot is so annoying! And BB is so darn cute. I'm sure the villains were basically crap. I mean, you got a hologram that does nothing and, uh, an emo kid. Kylo Ren just reminds me of those emo kids in South Park, mixed in with a bit of Cartman, when he goes all angry and, eh, I'm a master of darkness, slash this car, sorry, and stuff like that. Wow, was he a crappy villain? He no, he doesn't really redeem himself in the end because he gets his ass handed to him by someone who uses a lightsaber and the force for the first time in her life. Remember that. Remember how Luke got his ass handed to him by Darth Vader in the first fight? You think Killer Ren would be better trained than Luke after spending some time? Well, no time, actually, virtually no time training. But back to the matter at hand. Finn will kill Luke Skywalker. Why? Very simple. Because that's what he's programmed to do. They say it quite clearly at the beginning of the film. Our mental conditioning doesn't fail. And it probably hasn't. Maybe it skipped a beat when Finn refused to murder all those people. But you know he was supposed to visit Captain Phasma and get reassigned? Well, he does visit her. Only that scene isn't in the movie. The very next scene with Finn that we see is him breaking Poe out of jail. And you're probably wondering, why on earth would the Empire, the First Order, give the Rebellion Resistance Republic, whatever the name is in this movie, an asset like Finn? Because, as you can see in the movie, he knows quite a lot about the new Death Star, the Death Planet, or whatchamacallit. Without him, it wouldn't have been destroyed. Why would they give up such a massive advantage over the Rebellion, Republic slash whatever the name is, just so they can infiltrate a mole in the Republic Rebellion thing, the Resistance? And that leads me to one of the most famous lines Vader ever said. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant to connect to the power of the Force. And Master Snooky, or whatever his name is, the hologram guy, knows that. He said, the greatest threat is Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker rebuilding the Jedi. If he goes down, there will be no hope for the Republic. Okay, sure, they also blew up Coruscant, I think, but that's another matter. So having Finn infiltrate the Republic, the Rebellion, the Resistance, gaining their trust, being the reason they achieved a major victory over the Empire, means that he will have a really good chance to get right up next to Luke Skywalker. And because he's mentally conditioned, it probably means he won't even know he's trying to kill Luke Skywalker so Luke can't read his mind. So when that blaster pops up and BAM shoots Luke in the head, you'll never see it coming. Which is, I'm guessing, how episode 8 will end. Or maybe it'll happen somewhere around episode 9, during the middle. Oh sure, if an extended version of the movie comes out and it has that scene where he is sent to be reassigned and then just defects, this whole idea crumbles, but again, this is a movie made by clever people. It has clever cinematography in it. So leaving out that scene honestly made me expect Finn to turn heel somewhere around the end of the movie. I don't know if I'm right in about two years. Feel free to comment if you have your own thoughts on the matter. And may the force be with you.